Hey guys, it's Izzy and MJ and this is Endless RVing and in today's video we're going to be bringing you some video capture and our recap of the 2019 Hershey RV show. So you're not going to want to miss it. We're going away to get your back, check the tag, decision is made, lock your door. We are inside a 2020 Renegade XL XL 45S, I believe. This thing is outstanding inside. There's a picture of your cockpit. It's running a DD16 Detroit motor, 45 foot in length. You have your televator television, couch, nice solid. Solid surface countertop, microwave convection. You get a convection uh, induction cooktop. MJ likes the storage. She's new to the Super C thing, but she's starting to uh, warm up to it. A lot of cabinets here. Yeah, all solid would work. Another couch over here and a booth dinette. Let's walk over to the back. Yeah. A nice size fridge here. I don't know exactly what's the uh, cubic feet in here. Is it a full size residential fridge by Samsung? This is definitely one of my show favorites so far. What do you think, MJ? This is nice. You got a, the dual bathroom here. So you walk in, you have your two sinks. His and her sinks, definitely a plus for the married couples. And then you have the privacy uh, shower. This is all tiled out. Nice uh, tile here, tiled on the floor also. And then you have your toilet here with electronic flush. And then, is this a king? It's like a king. Yeah. King size bed, all windows, yeah, all electronic control. And washer dryer, nice cedar closet. You can smell the cedar on here. And then you have. And guys, I'm sorry if this is shaky. I'm on a little handheld right now. But you have nice cabinets. Excel is all over the place. Numerous places. Isn't that cool? Yeah, you could see all the the, the woodwork. All the woodwork detail. Again, this is the Renegade. Which one is it, babe? Forty five. The XL X4 QS. Here's a nice little electronic no touch. Drinks inside, except the Dunkin' Donuts. Except the guy who Drink works on it. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that. We'll try to get some more for you shortly. Here we are, 2020 Country Star, 3709. This is Newmar's new entry-level diesel. As you know, we're a little impartial to Newmar. Checking this one out inside. Yeah, this is pretty nice inside, so you have Freightliner chassis. Overhead television, it's all Samsung this year. You got a fireplace here. With the television, you wanna hit that television button? Probably somewhere by yeah. Where's that televator button? There you go. MJ knows this. Fireplace on. 
you have the propane cooktop. There's no Oasis system in here. Convection oven. This is very similar to ours inside. You the, uh, yeah, you got the table here. Half bath. Midship half bath. Residential fridge by Whirlpool. Okay. Nice size bedroom. Double slide. Double slide in the bedroom. Like I said, this is very similar to ours inside. And then you have a walk in rear bath. Laundry. shower there's nothing fancy on this one again this is the country star 37 footer this is new mars entry level diesel new for this year you can see the ceiling has the nice uh covering over the ceiling yeah. look outside of the uh, under storage oh okay <laughs> so yeah, so this is where you're going to see the difference in the diesel. Uh, you get the nice pasture storage. Multiple. Another one. Pasture storage. Then you have your pegboard and tools. So yeah, I think this is four slides, right? I believe so. Got the Cummings. 360 XCR. Okay, corrected. It's one super slide on the driver's side and then two smaller slides. So three slides, but that super slide is just as good as two. Is the Integra 45B Cornerstone. This Integra's top notch. Top of the line, Class A. Fireplace. TV. Whirlpool residential fridge. Then you have a nice kitchen with the island, the pull out island. Touch bag control system, half bath, and your half bath, midship. King size bed. So regal. Oh, MJ likes this one. She has expensive taste. I don't know if I want to live in it. I like to look at it. So you got a walk in, walk in rear bath here. It's almost like two. Tiled bathtub with the uh, with the sit down teak chair. Look at the sink. Electric flush on the toilet. I'm it's assuming a there's a washer dryer in there. Yeah, washer yeah. dryer. And then you have uh, here's a nice another cedar closet that smell hits you when you open it. And then you got the double sink. Yeah, this is the real deal. Yeah, that would be a Yeah. This one sits on the Cummings uh, 600 horsepower, I believe 1900. 605 horsepower, 1950 pounds of torque, the Cummings 15 liter. Show price, 552. So here we have a Class C Forest River Dynamax. I sat a five, this is gonna be a 32 foot C, Class C. 
that's deceivingly big inside. That's why I'm taking video of this one. It's a lot bigger inside one slide. You got bunks right up here. And this is on a Ram 5500 chassis, so it's got the 6.7 Cummings. You got one slide over here, automated uh, equalizer, automated leveling system. Two recliners, you got your dinner table. I'm sure that uh, folds down to make a bed. You got some nice cabinets. This is all on the driver's side. You got MJ working her phone. Passenger side, you have kitchen. You also have the extendable leaf sink, solid surface countertops, Truma Aquago, you have a microwave, I'm going to assume, yes, that is a convection, you have your suburban, it's probably three, yes, three burner cooktop, fridge air, pretty big refrigerator here with the freezer, and then you have, this looks like a queen size bed. And you have a rear closet. And so you also have a sliding door. Don't break anything. Yeah, well, it looks like there's some kind of sliding door here. Maybe I'm wrong. No, because it actually... There has to be one. Well, I know it's in here, but he's in the dark where they're holding it, but it's not there. There is a sliding door here because there's yeah. a track. But it looks like it's taken Maybe out. somebody took it out so that way they wouldn't break it. And what's... This is a pretty big bathroom. This is actually, this is bigger than what we have. So you have a nice shower here, a uh, tile shower. Okay. And then you can see the sink, mirror, sink, and you got your toilet here. That's on a foot pedal flush shows your bath light and your water pump. So this is a pretty impressive floor plan. I like it. I didn't think I would like this. We just came in and it's pretty good. It's also equipped with uh, the wine guard connect. And you have a television over here with a JBL soundbar. They have flyers. Show price $159,988. Shot of the back here. Again, it's Dynamax by Forest River on the Ram 5500 chassis, one big super slide. Two thousand twenty Jayco Pinnacle. This is Jayco's top rated or top of the line uh, fifth wheel that they offer. This is the Pinnacle thirty eight FL WS. It's priced at eighty four nine nine five. Get the front living here. They do make them look pretty. These Jayco Pentacles are full-time, all-season rated. So you live full-time, they are still covered under the warranty of Jayco. Front living. <laughs> Some steps to go down. Pantry, high ceilings here. These are these are like 12 foot ceilings. And then you have the island, four burner stove top with oven, Furion microwave, Whirlpool residential fridge, little work area here. 
lights that are over your island. Pantry. And you have a nice bath here. Pretty good size bath. Toilet. High ceilings on this, high ceilings. Nice size bath with built-in seat. This is molded fiberglass, no seams. And sink with LEDs. Pocket door to the nice. rear bedroom. Lots of, of cabinets, mirrors. lots of cabinets, mirrors. Wait to look at yourself. This is the one for you. Yes. Nice, this is cool. King size bed. And then you have the cedar line closet. Is there okay, a washer? I have these on the other side too. No, no. washer dryer here? No. Huh. There's no washer dryer in this one. Overall, pretty good looking coach. I like the double, the TV. double doors. Yes, this is the rear exit. And it looks like it has the more ride, more ride steps. Steps by more ride. More ride LRE 4000 suspension. Outside television. And they have the more ride steps at both front and rear. Outside stereo. Huge pass through storage. Awnings, slide covers. It's, good. it's prep for the generator. And you got the more ride pin box. Again, this is the pinnacle by Jayco. The 38 FLWS. Here's the Airstream Nest. This is their all fiberglass. I think this is a pretty new model here. The 16U. Stereo length 16 feet 7 inches. And the weight is about 3,300 pounds. This is a small SUV towable. God, this thing is pretty small inside, but I'll assume you get the airstream quality. If you're claustrophobic, I don't, I don't know what uh, this will do, but it's yeah, you cannot be claustrophobic and fully functional. I'm assuming this breaks down to a uh, to a bed, sink. This is a stove top, two burner stove top. Got a small, yeah, small refrigerator. And then you have your wet bath, which is a shower and toilet combo. Here, I right, got a little storage space, a little closet, cedar line. That much didn't take much to get around it, but this is the Airstream Nest. Two thousand twenty Horizon by Winnebago, the forty-two Q. This is their new design, came out last year. I really like this coach. Really, really like this coach. Let's get over here on the specs. Cummings ISL 8.9 liter turbo, 450 horsepower. Asking price 339. Come in here. Immediately see the difference in this coach and the design. Cabinets. 
table also. Is it farm style sink? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Table with chairs, residential fridge by Samsung. This has a feeling of like you're in a plane. Sliding doors in the bedroom with drawers, JBL soundbar. Yeah, like an ultra modern hotel. And then you get that sliding pocket door to separate the bathroom. Ceiling fan in the bedroom. Very cool bathroom. Very cool design here. It looks like a hip like New York City. I like this. If you, if you like them, getting away from the traditional, you want a more modern, sleek look. Winnebago Horizon is coming to 40. And we are in the 42 footer. Get you stackable, splendid. And rear automatic flush. It's a full length. It takes unbelievable go 4K. DJI. It's a nice storage. And let's walk back. Pretty cool design. <laughs> Pretty cool paint job we got on it. The medic fridge. So here we have uh, the Thor Tuscany, big 45 footer. I'm no fan of Thor, but I'm just putting this out there for people that may like it. Show price is $356,995. I'll take you for a walkthrough of this. Like I say they make these things look nice, certainly. Anybody knows the Thor reliability, um, probably won't be too happy with it, but to each his own. Yeah. They do make them look really nice. This is a fine looking coach inside. You got your uh, dual recliners here. And then you have a, looks like an L-shaped couch. You got the TV on a televator. Overhead cabinets with a screen up front. You got your drop down bunk up top. Again, it's on a 450 horsepower. It's pushing a 450 horsepower Cummings diesel motor on a Freightliner chassis. Tile flooring. Nice solid surface countertops. Farm style sink. You got your dishwasher here. Whirlpool convection microwave oven, induction cooktop. Boost style dinette. Fireplace. Residential fridge by Whirlpool. Is this a half bath? Yeah. And you have a nice half bath. Electric flush. Nice sink. Filming of this product does not mean endorsement. No, I, I already said that. Okay. <laughs> I said they make it look really nice. Listen, if you're gonna go for a 45 footer and you wanna save some money, I guess initially, go for the Thor. There's a big problem in the bathroom, I'm gonna show you. Hold on. So now we're here in the bedroom. Looks like a king size bed. Yeah, nice. Another television. Dual cabinets here. Oh, I'm sorry, washer dryer. Stackable. By Whirlpool. That's weird that it's there. Usually it's in the back of it. And you have a nice size closet. Let's see if drawers. 
pocket style door. Pocket style door. Cabinets. Oh, looks like all hardwood cabinets here. And hold on. It's a, if not, you pointed out to me. A little step up here. Tiled up floors. <laughs> if you're tall. Oh uh, yeah, you can't see it. This is a problem. <laughs> You'd have a design to stand, flaw. You get really strong quads getting ready in the morning. Get more nice cabinets. You have the closet. This one's not cedar lined. Well, it has a little bit of cedar in there, but not too much. And then sink. They make these things look nice, these doors, but save your money. Buy something used versus this. Use new more. I use Tiffin for this price. You're gonna get a way better, way better deal in the long run. But I'm bringing it to you guys because I just want to show you what uh, what they have here. Step outside. So dual awnings with LEDs. And the 2019 Radio Music This is the Tuscany. Tag axle. That is the Thor Tuscany. 2020 Tiffin Allegro Red 37BA. Show price two fifty six nine nine eight is on their raised rail chassis, all electric. Tiffin makes a quality product. It's on a Freightliner chassis. TV on a televator. Couch. Okay. Couch on the driver's side, cabinets up above. We have the uh, table with chairs, dishwasher, nice size kitchen. You got the window here, little hidden window. We just saw those on the, well, I shouldn't say where we saw them, but we did see those on another manufacturer big manufacturer that hasn't been released to the public yet wide open space here Res residential fridge half bath the bedroom a lot of cabinet work here king size bed cabinets above Tiffin makes all hardwood cabinets in house. Television. Will you edit it later? Yeah, yeah, later. Don't worry. <laughs> We're at the RV show, so people are passing through. Don't worry about that. You on YouTube? Yeah. Follow us. What kind of shirt? Endless RV. Oh, I've saw your stuff before. Yeah. Are you subscribed? Hold on. Let me just finish this. <laughs> We're sorry, we just got a, a, a fan here. Hold on. <laughs> we just put a new video up this morning about the trauma. And then rear bath with shower. Here we go. Single sink. And this is going to be a washer dryer. Stackable. Again, the Allegro Red 37BA by Tiffin. Quality stuff. <laughs> We're gonna switch it up a bit. We have the 2020 A-Liner Expedition Family. It's an 18-foot pop-up. A-frame pop-up, sleeps four. 3,500 pounds, and perfect for your little SUV to tow this thing. These things are kind of cool inside. Not like that Class A, but there's actually a lot of room in here. So MJ is about 5'10". Come come to the middle, babe. And get a shot. She's about 5'10", and 
You got a lot of space. This what is, is this? Part. Yeah, check this out. Is this a little stove here? You can prepare your, oh, it's a sink. You got a sink. Prepare your food. And then empty your food out. You can take you a dump right there in front of everyone. <laughs> but guys, this is pretty much, you know, a tent. It's a little a fancy tent. But it's cool though, it's It is kind of cool. I've never really been in one of these things. And then you have an outside kitchen here. A little burner and a Norcole fridge freezer. Step up from a tent. Priced at $23,999. Tiffin Allegro 45 MP 469.98 show price. This is a 45 foot Tiffin. This is their their mid range, just below the Zephyr. It's going to be a nice coach inside. I can almost guarantee that one. How do you like this one? So here we go. I think this is on their own chassis. It's a cockpit. Got your couch right under the TV on the passenger side. Dual recliners with the ottoman. Overhead. Nice cabinets everywhere. Dishwasher built in, wood face, convection microwave, induction cooktop, all electric coach, 450 horsepower motor on the power glide chassis. This is a nice fridge. A lot of cabinets here. Table. And you have a uh, slide out pantry. I like the uh, wood face residential fridge, it's a nice touch. Half bath, electric control panel, half bath midship, dual entry. And you have your bathroom, dual sinks. <laughs> nice tile shower. Yeah, it is. And then we'll go to the back. And you have the rear bedroom. More cabinets. Plenty of cabinet space. Television. Fireplace. King size bed. Looks like it's some kind of sleep number. Uh, adjustable bed here and then you have another almost like a laundry room here so you have dual splendid washer dryers stackable safe and then you have a little area looks like the full clothes you get your shoe racks here and on the passenger side you got more drawers Another area and then a whole nother cabinet over here. That's probably your fuse box with drawers. Again, there's the Phaeton, the 45 foot Phaeton. I'm sorry, Allegro bus, 45 foot Allegro bus. Nice overhead lighting here, LED lighting. Yeah, it's awesome. That's the last of cameras we have on the motorhome. We have one at the back that does that. Mm -hmm. And one on each, one on each turn signal. I'm here with Bob Tiffin yes, from Tiffin Motorhomes. Right. Gotcha. The 45 OPP, this is one of your most popular plans, right? Yes, it is for the big motorhome. Nice. Check this out here. Yeah, sure, of course. A little more room to breathe. Yeah, see. Yeah, I'm Oh, nice. 
Awesome. And then the other side. You got a front overhead television. <laughs> we hope you guys enjoyed that video. We put in a lot of effort, it took a lot of video for that, so. It was fine. Yeah, it's the stuff that we try to, I mean, listen, there's 1500 RVs, so we tried to pick out what really stood out to us. Um, and hopefully you got to enjoy it. So if anybody's at the RV show and, and there was any one models that you liked, leave it in the comments. Anybody else enjoyed the video, give it the thumbs up, like, share, most importantly, subscribe. It'll help us grow, help us move up on the YouTube algorithms, which we already are. Yeah, we'd love to hear what your favorites were, though. Yes. We had ours. I'm curious what Yeah, let us, let us know what your well. favorites are so uh, we know what's trending out there. So for myself and MJ, thank you for your time. We'll see you guys on the road. <laughs>